Charles Darwin wrote wonderful sentences, beautiful books, and fabulous phrases. And one of my favorites is when he describes his mind being a chaos of delight after seeing many of the splendid life forms in a Brazilian forest. So we have asked everyone who's been involved in this app when they experience that chaos of delight. So the real delight for me comes in two different places. One is, um, when you realize that you've come across a beautiful explanatory structure. For example, when you realize that you've got, um, that you've got one little story which will allow you to broaden out and explain interesting principles and problems in science much more broadly, and also that your initial starting trigger has emotional oomph that will get people in through the door, but it's not just historical biography oomph, it is actually like the, the structure of the bad behaviour and the problem is reflected in the structure of the scientific distortion. That kind of poetry in bad behaviour really gives me um, big thrills. Uh, but also actually, um, like I'm on the verge of having a big science poo, like I've got about three pieces of original research, 80% finished, and I've got to get out of this room and go and finish them right now. Um, and, you know, like everybody else's stuff in science, uh, they're just little contributions, but they're important to me, and they're clever and interesting, and they were new uses of currently accessible data, which I've had to munge and repurpose and properly analyze, and I found stuff out. And it's not earth shattering, it's part of a bigger picture. It'll get cited, by other people also doing stuff in that area. But I know it right now, and not only do you not know it, but nobody knows it. It exists only in the tables and the Kaplan-Meier plot that is an emergent property of my stator code and the data on my tiny little laptop, like my 11-inch laptop that is in that bag over there that I carry everywhere I go. Like, all I had to do was, was do a master's in epidemiology, learn how to code data, think about some problems, find a data set, munge it, analyze it, and write it up. And it's, it's there, like it's, the, it's, it's like the sort of raw material has been turned into um, knowledge. Like I've gone from data to knowledge and it invites uh, a small modest policy change so it's the journey from data to knowledge to uh, well wisdom is the cheesy sort of trinity but that's you know data to knowledge to doing something about it um, and that uh, that and being able to do that on a thing that I can almost fit in my coat pocket is really wild it makes me feel like um, that bit in in the Fat Freddy comics and we've just lost a lot of people there where, um, where the mice find Fat Freddy's amphetamines. And there's this panel where the mice like sits bolt upright and goes, I have hands, why aren't I running this ship? Like that feeling of, 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 of being able to take nothing, chaos, and find a pattern in it is, is really, you know, it's driven a lot of people to tolerate lecturer salaries with London rents for a long time and it'll never go away.